All right, it's been a hot day, but uh, no showers to cool us off. Yeah, a little bit of dry air snuck in. Also, the wind flow it changed just a little bit more southerly, meaning there's not that convection, uh, convergence setting yeah. up that we normally see. And so that has limited our storms. Uh, this, again, morning, a nice sunrise. We don't show a lot of these, but this from Parrish, and appreciate that nice sunrise. Some clouds there. And you can see this was what it was like from the Venice jetty. Cindy Desmond, always a good contributor, showing those fair weather puffy cumulus clouds moving through the sky. And this one from the mighty manatee, Joyce O'Neill, sending this one in again. A little bit of shower activity trying to pop up there with those cells. And earlier I showed Cliff Rolls. He's over in Europe and he's sending photos in everywhere. I wanted to show you this one photo I saw on his social media page. And I got to look at that. Is that amazing shot or what right there with the nice green rolling hills and then the mountains in the background backdrop there. And he said he had to climb down a couple of mountains just to get that shot. He is a, a photographer here along the Sun Coast. You've seen him on the Sun Coast View as a guest host on occasion as well. I uh, appreciate all those photos being sent in. Van Ways, a webcam showing generally fair skies along the area beaches. Different story yesterday as uh, we had a very active sea breeze front and today a different story. Titan radar picture shows us some bigger storms to the north, a little bit more moisture bottled up there near Hillsboro and places to the nor north. And you can see the activity moving off to the north northwest. Some heavier storms now starting to fire up as that sea breeze has made it all the way into the eastern portions of Manatee County. So there is still a chance for some inland showers and storms. And eventually the outflow from some of these may generate a few spotty showers here and again uh, throughout the evening. 98, that's what it feels like right now. We have a west-southwest wind at 9 miles an hour. The pressure 2996. The actual temperature is 89 degrees. And the high, the high today was only 1 degree above average, 77. Uh, was the morning low and uh, no rainfall report so far for the month were 1.09 inches below average 92 in Orlando it's cooler in Tallahassee and Jacksonville uh, 90 degrees now into Miami and 88 in Key West Wednesday's forecast similar to what we saw today only a few scattered showers and storms in the afternoon and we'll see partly cloudy skies high temperatures will be a few degrees above average and that heat index getting close to 100 once again in the afternoon well, Franklin made landfall late last night, early this morning, and now it is moving off into the Gulf of Mexico, where we're starting to see increase in storms now. It's going to tap into this warm water right there with temperatures in the low to mid-90s there. Uh, top winds are at 40. Expected to gain some strength in time throughout the day on Wednesday and eventually make landfall sometime late Wednesday, early Thursday morning. Possibility of it being a hurricane right before it makes landfall, uh, but for the time being, it's not going to have any impact on the United States weather at all, causing some uh, life-threatening mudslides and flash floods into the eastern portion of Mexico there. Well, another tropical system that the European model is suggesting will turn into GERT in about three to four days from now is poorly organized. If it holds on together, is a 30% chance developing. Its motion and movement would be off toward the northwest and then eventually curving away from the U.S. and heading into the open waters of the Atlantic. We'll see how that plays out. It's a long way off and a lot can happen because it really hasn't developed a well-defined low at this point. Well, the forecast calling for a few spotty showers through this evening. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies. They'll be back tomorrow late afternoon uh, inland areas, early afternoon near the coast as that sea breeze works in and then not much though. The rain chance at 30%. It will slowly go up though as we move through time and it may change the timing too. We'll see more of a west southwesterly component to our wind flow and that begins uh, by Friday. Temperatures cooler in Boston, warmer in Dallas. Now 90 degrees there in Minneapolis at 82 and 82 in St. Louis. Well for boaters tomorrow, not much going on out there. Seas running less than two feet with a light chop. The water temperature 91 degrees and the forecast tides upcoming. The next uh, low tide will be at 839. Sunset at 814 tonight. Just a few showers, 78 for a low tomorrow, 93 for your high, 30% chance for storms, and the extended forecast is calling for a gradual increase in chances for showers as we head into the weekend.